Between this point and the rest of the video series, we're going to be talking about relations, which allow us to mathematically encode relationships. And from a certain point of view, mathematics is all about relationships. A relation from x to y is any subset of the Cartesian product x cross y. For example, if our sets are the set ABC, we'll call that x, and the set y of 1, 2, 3, 4, then a relation between x and y is the set a1, a2, c3, c1. There are many relations between these two sets. I just wrote down one. Notice that unlike functions, relations don't have to map every element of x to an element of y, and elements of x can be related to more than one element. The reason we spent all those videos talking about matrices is because matrices are a powerful tool to help us understand relations between finite sets. Take our relation from the last example, a1, a2, c1, and c3. The rows of our matrix correspond to the elements of the domain of the relation, in this case the set x, and the columns correspond to the elements of the codomain, which was y. So the fact that a is related to 1 means I'm going to put a 1 in the row for a and the column for 1. It's true that we can order the rows and columns however we want in a matrix, but if there is an obvious order like alphabetically or numerically, we go with that. A is related to 2. A is not related to 3 or 4. B is not related to anything. C is related to 1 and 3. Suppose instead that the domain, that's the first set, and the codomain, that's the second set of our relation, are the same set. In that case, we can represent the relation using what is called a directed graph. So suppose this time our set is the set w, x, y, z, and the relation on that set is given by the set of pairs w, 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 x, x, z, z, y, z, w. Then we can put down the elements of the set as the vertices of the graph. And when two elements are related, we draw an arrow between them in the appropriate direction. So for example, w is related to x, so we draw an arrow from w to x. x is related to z, z is related to y, and z is related back to w. Furthermore, since w is related to itself, we draw a loop that begins and ends at w.